beam me up. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Maybe this is what we were looking for. Maybe this is it. Okay, maybe this is where we're going. This definitely looks like a boss fight here. Uh, hang on. So before we go into this boss fight, where? All right. First of all, let's see where we are. Where are we? We are at audience pathway. Okay, audience pathway. Let's go back here quickly. Best of Barb Elden Ring. <laughs> we'll do a bet. Yeah, we'll do a bet. Why not? Let's go to the blacksmith here. Well, I took you for no matter. Lay out your arm. So we don't have somber smithing stone plus eight. Uh, what else do we have? We could. We actually couldn't. Wow, we can improve the hook claws to plus uh, to plus eighteen on the hook claws. God damn, that is a lot. They are plus twenty hook claws now. They are plus twenty. So I can't change, let's see, I could change the, oh, check it out, dude. Look at this. If I make my beast claw, my claws into keen claws, they get uh, dex scaling instead. They go from C scaling to A scaling and they uh, it changes the move to beast roar. Interesting. Lightning hook claws, sacred hook claws. Oh. And you can, okay, so it looks like you can also change stuff. All right, let's make them keen hook claws. So we've made it that. Okay, they are now keen hook claws. Cool. These are, so this is my other, this is the weapon I've been using for a while. We also changed the move. Now it's beast roar instead of the, the step, I guess. Okay, cool, cool. Neat. All right, how many uh, souls do I have? Okay, we have no souls really to spend. All right, let's go back. Let's start a bet, uh, start prediction. First try, yes or no. I don't know what we're going into. Uh, it looks like a boss. Can you upgrade Ashes of War? It uh, looks, see, like it looks like you can, but I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. Well, I took you for no matter. Lay out your arm. So you can apply it, but I don't think you can strengthen it or something. I don't. I don't know how it works. I can duplicate it. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, what am I using for the boss? Uh, I might start. I might start with the sword. I think the hook claws are probably better, but I might start with the sword. Uh, all right. So where are? It was audience pathway. Audience pathway. There we go. Let's go, believers. All right. Let's see what this is gonna be. I have no idea. What do we got? Whoa, dude. Is this, is this, uh, all right, hang on, hang on. What the hell is that? Serpent Hunter. Here it is. 
Great Serpent. I perform a powerful lunge and follow up with an upward thrust. Uh, when fighting a Great Serpent, a long blade of light will appear, revealing the armament's true power. I feel like this is a, uh, a Yorm kind of situation. I can only do that a few more times. God devouring serpents. Well, that's it. I'm out. I'm out of juicies. We're gonna try the claws. Uh, well, we're gonna die, actually. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. So, is this a Yorm situation where you like are strongly advised to using the spear? I wonder. Yeah, we died. I don't know if it's like a Yorm situation. Seems like it's mostly a strength weapon. All right, let's try again. I'm gonna try the claws this time. Uh, is it my, am I taking mostly fire damage here? So I put on the greatly reduced fire charm. That's the spear the guy was talking about. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. All right. Uh, let's pay the people. Choose British outcome. First try. Answer is no. No first try. Sorry, guys. I tried. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the answer. I'm going to try the... Uh, I'm going to try my claws out. See that bleed? You see that bleed? Ow! Oh, that was bullshit.
Hmm. Man, walking on the uh, lava here is uh, very annoying. I wonder if there's a way to not do this. <laughs> like, I might be being an idiot here. Not a juicies. Okay, let me try this. That's all we got. Come on, man. Damn, man. Damn. Yeah. I'm mostly getting hit by physical stuff and not fire stuff. The fire is just the lava. Okay, uh, let me try something here. Let me try something. I think we've got this. It doesn't seem too bad. This was fucking me over because I went to this and I started fat rolling. Okay. Uh, let me do this. We're going to change my allotted flasks here. We're going to get some more of these. And uh, can I lower my... Let's see. Out of curiosity, I, I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to retool my stuff here a little bit. So that puts me up to heavy load. Still at heavy load. Okay, so now I can wield this and I can switch to these at the same time. Okay. What are my latest thoughts on the game as a whole? Oh, dude, I'm loving the game. I am absolutely loving the game. I'm, I'm having such a great time with it. All right. So, oh, let me, uh, let me change this to. So we have some F now. We've also got some FP. So we can also restore my FP after I hit the snake with the attack. Okay. sucks what are you supposed to do i gotta try sometimes i gotta try jumping it's just jumping hasn't felt super reliable to me
Jesus fuck, man. I'm already out. Already out. I, oh, you know what? I just remembered something. You know what? I have another, if we die here, I have another thing we can try. strategy is to get hit by everything all the time is my strategy <laughs> dude when he just backs away Okay, I have another idea. I have another idea. There's something I found. I have another idea of something I can try. Okay. The back away damage seemed kind of legit. I have something else I want to try here. Okay. Hang on. Let's take a look at my physic. Negates damage received and restores half of HP. I don't remember which one's which. Boost magic attacks, uh, eliminates all FP consumption. That's what I wanted to try. Okay, so now we've got that and we've got the spear. So what is that gonna do? All right, let's try this again. Hmm? Uh, Freundlich, Freundlich, thank you very much. Is that Friendlich? Didn't last for too long. Fuck! <laughs> it was it was good while it lasted, I guess. <laughs> I th okay, when he puts his head in the ground, jump. I wonder if the spear, I don't think the spear's attacks do more damage, but I'm not sure.
Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> no. Here it comes. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> oh no. It's like kind of choppy a little bit. <laughs> Dude, fuck this game. <laughs> I have big hair in my mouth. Well, I think I think we're fucked. We're like mega fucked. Okay, I, I'm a little confused because I feel like I literally can't attack this thing. You can just R1. You can just fucking R1. That's what it is. I thought you had to R2. That's what it fucking is. God damn it. <laughs> I didn't even try the R1. Son of a bitch. Got it. Okay, now I know. I thought that was just the... Okay, the reason why I thought that is that... Ah! Okay. The reason why... No, 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 no. I'm not stupid. I promise. I'm not stupid. Here's why I'm not stupid. Because that's how it works in Demon Souls and Dark Souls 3 and shit. That's why. That's why I'm not stupid. That's how it works in those games. So I thought I thought that you had to L2. I thought it was the weapon art. That's I thought that's what you had to do. Right. I didn't realize so like if you, I think I tried this and it didn't do that. So this spear looks like only comes alive for that. So I guess what that means is that I don't need I don't need all this all this stuff. Hang on. So let's get my full healing. Okay. And let's look at my physic. You have to admit, though, if that if that was true, the the infinite weapon art FP thing, that was actually a good strat. <laughs> okay, so look at this: the crimson crystal tier. Uh, each of these, just, if you put two of these, it's full HP. This one temporarily boosts max HP. Steadily reports. Uh, you know what? I haven't tried the this one. Let's try that one. I, dude, I just, I, you know, it's, it was an honest mistake. Now I understand. Okay. Uh, this is really cool. Yeah, this is really cool. This is really, really neat. I like this a lot. It definitely took me a minute to understand it, but I like it. <laughs> I tried. I tried the jump. Oh, it's the wrong thing. I am dead. I am dead. Yep. Yep, dead. Oh, not dead. Oh, not dead. <laughs> oh, you can R2? Bro. Man, I gotta say, this is so much cooler, in my opinion, than the, the... So this is like the latest version of the same gimmick they've done many times. You know, like they've done this gimmick before. This is so much cooler than the other versions of this gimmick. Yeah, it's the same kind of thing. This is so much cooler.
Okay. Yeah, this is so much cooler than those other versions. I want to watch this cutscene again. Oh, I have to... Right. <laughs> I want to watch this cutscene again. Well, so this was the spear the entire time. They give you the spear at the start. I was using it like Storm Ruler from Demon Souls and Dark Souls 3. Uh, that is not what you do. It's very different. I was eating during the first cutscene. I want to watch this every time. It's so cool. Dude, that was... I was... I... <laughs> I kind of like my old strat of running at it like an idiot with my claws and like... <laughs> Wasn't that the guy in Guardians of the Galaxy who runs at the guy with the knives? Oh, he's like stabbing the side. That was me. <laughs> that was me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the bleed was actually pretty good. Yeah, the bleed wasn't bad. It was actually pretty good. Dude, I love this guy's voice. This guy's voice is so over the top. I love it. Every time. Every time an enemy in this game stabs the ground, you know what's coming next? An explosion as they come out of the ground. Like, look at the skull. Look at the skulls. Can I? <laughs> what do you do? What do you do about that? Good God, man. This is ridiculous. Okay, so I'm not sure. I, I don't know. Uh, it seems like the main bosses in the game, like the big main ones, have two phases. There's like a first phase and a second phase, and the two phases are significantly different from one another. So there was the moon, the moon priestess was one of them, and this is another one of the main gods with multiple phases. No, we just got the spear right here. We just got it right here. Very cool. Very cool. Bro, how- I'm sorry, how do you dodge that attack? You can't jump it. Parry it. Yeah, let me just parry the earthquake. Okay, as soon as he puts his head in the ground, run away. As soon as he puts his head in the ground, run away. Because it seems like dodging and jumping and seems like dodging, seems like none of those work. We try running away. Maybe crafting protections. I mean, you only get one at a time. No, you can't horse in, you can't horse in here. I tried that, no horse in here. As soon as he puts his head in the ground, I am running away. I don't know, man. I really don't know how I'm going to ever dodge that attack. I don't know.
This is fucking so cool. Damn it. Except for that attack. <laughs> Stop poisoning me. Use the pillars to block. Yeah, I think that I've got the the first phase is not difficult. It's just uh, uh hello. Oh, there we go. The first phase isn't difficult. I just don't understand what to do about the uh, earthquake attack. That one I don't understand what to do. Oops. Well, that was a mistake. That was also a mistake. looking what what, <laughs> what on earth oh my god wow uh i I don't know what to do about this. <laughs> I have no idea. I really, really don't know what to do about this. I don't know. I do not know what to do about that. It seems like the skulls on top of the attacks he's doing, it just seems like I feel like I can't dodge anything there. I don't know. Well, hopefully we'll figure something out. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. No! Leave me alone! We'll figure it out or, or we'll die trying. Or we'll die trying while we figure it out. go IRL combo I'm not even mad because this is just so cool like I'm literally not even mad at all it's so cool <laughs> I'm not even mad it's so cool
that's such bullshit. Is that the enemies don't have bad enough delays. Uh, I think it's time to run. Like, look at, look at this. Look at this. Like, <laughs> you think maybe, like, maybe I can, like, dispel the skulls with the spear? You think maybe that's it? <laughs> yeah, let me just get hit by this fucking building of a sword. I didn't even know that. Why would you know what was happening there? Where am I? Didn't have much left. I <laughs> Phase three. <laughs> how many, uh, how many souls do we even have anyway? 130,000. <laughs> Oh man, that was, um, so that to me, obviously there was a, if you know the souls games, you know about, you know, uh, the storm ruler in demon souls and dark souls three, uh, that to me was the coolest iteration of that fight I've seen. Uh, that was the coolest iteration of that fight I've seen. I definitely prefer that over the version in Demon Souls and Dark Souls 3. Uh, those versions are cool, but this one felt... I don't know. This one was much, much cooler. Uh, I like this version a lot more. That was very cool. That was sick as hell. Definitely remind you of Mumra, the ever, ever living. Uh, let's grab one of these and let's grab one of these, I guess. So we have, hang on, okay. So that was another one of the like key bosses I guess we had to kill. Oh, you know what we can do? We can actually go see, um, use to perfect rebirth, great rune of the unborn. Oh, that's, that's the rune that we can do that. Okay. Uh, we actually could, if we find the other towers, we can revive these runes, but I don't know where they are. We have, okay, so here's Morgoth's Great Rune and Rickard's Great Rune. We don't know where to revive those. I don't know where to revive those yet. Um, 
They said towers. Oh, let me let me read them. What is, is there a description? Oh, here we go. Okay. The great ruin of the Shardbearer Morgoth, devoid of any benediction. Seek the Divine Tower of East Atlas, which stands beyond the Great R Bridge from Laindal's Eastern Ward. Uh, seek the Divine Tower of West Atlas, which stands upon the precipice of the coast somewhere in Laindell. So they tell you, like, where to go to find the other things. Okay. Cool. Well, I, I guess we have completed this area now, the volcano area. Liernia, Limgrave, Atlas Plateau. All right. Well, let's oh, let's go see what the boss weapon is. Let's go see what we can get. You didn't kill the magma dragon. I mean, that wasn't even a boss. It was just an NPC. I want to go see here if we can get a, a boss weapon or something. Uh, let's see. Blasphemous Blade. Taker's Flame. So this is the sword. Rickard's Rancor. It requires 40 intelligence. So if we want this sword, it looks like it's, it requires 22 strength and 21 faith. And it's like kind of a weird... Uh, raise the second sword aloft to set it ablaze with blasphemous flames and bring it down to the guy. The flames steal HP from those they touch. Sick. Sick. That's the sword from this guy. Um, I can't wield it. I don't have enough strength. Like maybe I could two hand it, but that's all. That's all we fucking need is another weapon to upgrade. <laughs> that's all we need is another sword to upgrade, right? That makes sense. Respec. Ah, shut it. Respec. Respec. That's all we need is more weapons, right? You must find the smoldering flame in the great forge of the giants on the highest peak in the A special kindling is required to reignite the flame. Need more strength for the, the cannon anyway. And can lead you to the rune of death. Now, let the Okay. Oh, uh did it, what what can you purchase from her anyway? Oh, you can buy the clothes from the... Okay, yeah. She also sells the armor. Okay. Cannon respec or we riot. Did you miss the boss? And yeah, I killed the boss. It really wasn't that tough. I still feel like in that in that last phase, man. Tough to avoid some hits on that last phase. Tough to avoid some hits on that. Uh, let's see. So we need one, a smithing stone seven to upgrade the claws again. Uh, we need smithing stone eight for Morgoth's curved sword, and uh, we need smith somber smithing stones for that one. Yeah, just a whole bunch of somber, all different stuff we would need to upgrade weapons. So can't really do anything with all these. Okay. Did I get armor in the fight? Did I get armor? I didn't think I did. Did I? I don't remember if I did or not. I did. What was it? Chest armor? Is that what? What, what was the armor? Carrion knight, Caden armor. What I? Oh, the eye surcoat. That was it, right? Wasn't this it? Yeah. It's pretty cool. It's not as cool as this though. <laughs> remember to take care of your precious vendor. Can you buy stones from the vendor? I don't think I've unlocked the ability to buy those stones yet. I can show you my vendor. I don't think we've unlocked that ability yet. But uh, here. Peak performance. Uh, yeah, I have somber zone three and four and I've got these. So no, not, not yet. But we have unlocked more of these, which is good. We have unlocked more. Uh, we have no more bell offerings. Okay. We're going to stay bowling ball. We need to find more of the, the ball bearing things to, to do that. Uh, do you have anything to say? You've met Then owing to our duties shared. We are now comrades in arms. I think you've earned this. The power of the golden order to aid the hunt of those who live in death. 
Litany creates image of order to deal holy damage and enchances right hand armament with holy damage. Okay, so this guy is offering more miracles. I'll buy that one, sure. I serve the golden order that I might put this crooked following only the guidance of the great Elden. Those who live in death fall outside the principles of the golden order. Their mere existence sullies the guidance of gold. And so it is the vermin must be exterminated. Okay. None of that made any sense. The tree break the ring. I don't think so. I, I gotta be honest. I can't say I really understand the story of the game. <laughs> I can't, I can't say I super duper understand the story. I'm not going to lie. Cast the ring into the tree. Let's go get, uh, let's go get the sword. Let's go get the sword. I just, I, even if I don't use it, I want to see it. Acquire blasphemous blade. Yep. Let's get it. Let's see the sword. It was the blasphemous blade. There it is. It's a great sword. Did you see the little tentacles moving on it and shit? That's cool. That is pretty cool. I like that sword. <laughs> That's a really cool sword. Yeah, it's got like tentacles and shit on it. That's a cool one. Okay, gross. Gross! I think that shit's cool as hell. Uh, alrighty. So, let's take a look at our map here. I want to go here. I want to go here. Alright. Let's go there. South is unexplored. Talk to the lady. What lady? What are you talking about, dude? What are we talking about? All right, let's put that there. We're heading towards three. Gonna have to be more specific. There's a lot of people in this game. This game is so massive. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Red Hood Lady. Oh, back at Volcano Manor. You want me to go back and talk to her again uh, and see if she says something different? Yeah, we could try that. We'll try that. Did my character get fat? Listen, how dare you? We'll go back and talk to her. That was a really... That snake god thing, man. That was a really fucking cool boss. Maybe... Maybe the... Comp, maybe like the actual fight against it itself was maybe not my favorite thing ever. It seemed like it was kind of tough to avoid some of the damage in the fight. But visually, conceptually, like insanely cool. Like, really cool. Like, I don't even care. All right, it looks like this guy wants to throw down. Wow, that guy was a fucking punk-ass bitch, apparently. <laughs> apparently, that guy was a punk-ass bitch. All right, sure. Whatever you say, buddy. Okay, we opened this. I wanted to see what was in here. Oh, let me, uh, the old lantern back. Thank you very much, Curious Corn Dog, for 23 months. Thank you, Curious Corn Dog. Okay, lantern activated. My dude needs a diet. My dude is perfect in every way, shape, and form. He is literally perfect. The caves for upgrades and crafting materials are quite similar. Somewhat, yeah. I mean, I don't know if you've been in ca in real life caves, but uh, a lot of caves are, you know, fairly close. 
<laughs> fairly similar. Um, that said, they all have, they've been a ton of unique bosses and enemies in these caves. Hmm, you know, I maybe want the flail versus these guys, actually. Maybe I want the flail. Let's go to the, where's my family heads? Where is the heads? Fucking dumbest weapon ever. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is why I wanted to come here because I want these upgrade materials. How many hours has I have I do I have in this game? I have 30 almost 35 hours in the game. I'm also not rushing through it. I think if I wanted to hit the key areas and go like go towards the end of the game, I could probably do it. I'm not interested in rushing through this game. I want to go everywhere, see everything, do everything. Not in a rush. Finally, dogs. There's been a fair number of dogs. But you had more. I have like 26 and I'm only level 35 or something. Yeah, I am uh, level 92. Is there a max level? I don't believe so. Uh, I'm actually, I don't know what post game is going to look like for this game, right? Like, is there going to be a new game plus? Is new game plus going to be exactly the same uh, with like enemies with higher stats? Is there going to be something? Is, is there a new game plus at all? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if anybody knows yet or a very few an amount of people know. Oh, shit. These guys are here. Holy shit, my ass. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. How did I trigger like seven enemies? How did I do that? I didn't even do anything. Get the hell out of here, man. This is ridiculous. I love, I love that. I, oh, this is fucking great. Bro, all I did was jump down here and I suddenly triggered three knights, two dogs, one soldier. Like, holy fuck. That is a lot of enemies. Holy shit. That's like a Dark Souls 2 amount of enemies right there. <laughs> what the hell? Unreal. I jumped down into Dark Souls 2, apparently. See, that sword I had was doing, like, what was it? 70 or 80 damage versus these guys? These fla This flail is, like, one-shotting them. That is why I've got the flail. Three bullshit knights, two, uh, two soldiers, three dogs, and a partridge in a pear tree. A homesick alien. Thank you for the brand new Twitch Prime. Thank you very much. Okay, you made your fucking point, game. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes, got it. Yes. Understood. Got it, game. Holy shit. Holy shit.
Okay, so last time I jumped down here, I triggered a thousand enemies. How do I not do that this time? You know, like, one of these knights is pretty difficult, man. <sighs> You're a little late. If you had been here a few minutes later, you would have been able to probably fuck me up with those other two guys, but you're a little late this time. Oh, oh, here's the dogs. <laughs> so those two knights over there and the soldier and the two dogs. So I jumped down in the middle and somehow managed to piss off all of them at once. So that's how that happened. Hmm? What the dog doing? Uh oh. All right. You guys ready for a bet? Start prediction. Here we go. First try. Uh, what do you think about Dragonkin Soldier? Was Dragonkin Soldier the boss that was in the underground area and there was like a huge skeleton sitting on a chair? Uh, if that's the boss you're talking about. I found that boss very annoying. I felt like I was constantly in his face. Like he was constantly running up on me. Like I was like in his crotch. Uh, I felt like he was annoying to hit. And I also felt like when the boss is on top of you, I can't see what it's doing. So like there was always like explosions and shit hitting me. So that boss kind of drove me a little nuts. I didn't like that boss very much. That one, it was it was uh, amazing. One of, the, one of the coolest visual areas in the game. Uh, and the boss itself looks cool, but the fight was kind of annoying. I don't know. Maybe there's a better way in, in total, uh, in total, you know, like, let's be real here. I'm not very good at the game. So, uh, may, you know, maybe that's just me sucking. Maybe it's just me sucking. So, oh, visually it was fucking cool as hell. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no question about that. A checklist of bosses Barb has encountered. Maybe he's better if you play a ranged class. Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe maybe some fights are meant to be fought in a certain way, and maybe that was my problem, so. If Barb's not good, I'm actual trash. I mean, there might be just some fights that I'm just not gonna understand immediately, and I'm not gonna be very good at. That's, that's definitely the case. Like, that could totally happen, so. All right, let's see what this thing is. Stone Digger Troll. Have some fucking skulls, bitch. <laughs> oh, that was easy. We got the great club. Well, I went without any heals. Uh, you know, I mean, I feel like, uh, where are we on the map? Where are we on the map? I feel like the lava area is kind of like a later game area, right? But that was pretty easy. <laughs> that was... 
That was pretty goddamn easy. I don't know. All right. GG. Most Farah. What's up, dude? God gamer. I'm OP. I don't know if it's OP. It's weird because I felt like the lava, the lava area felt like appropriate for like my level, right? Like it felt like the enemies were doing like normal damage and the boss felt okay. Like I, I wasn't getting like punks. So I feel like it's a little weird uh, that this, this bo the boss of this area was like a joke, but I don't know. Strange. You can get to this area pretty easily. Was it? Uh, that wasn't an item. That's just a teleport back to the to the entrance. Is there anywhere else to go in this cave, or am I done here? Have you found patches? I don't even know if patches in the game. I hope so. You this part of like level nine. takes me back to the entrance okay yeah boss is dead yeah i slaughtered him <laughs> subscription uh rob anybody thank you for the 37 months thank you rob anybody okay we got some more upgrade materials i do wonder if there was anything else in here uh, i i really hope i didn't miss anything in there I missed an area behind the hut on the bottom. Did I? Okay, let's go back. I don't even, I don't care. Don't worry about spoilers. I don't care. I missed an area down here. Was there something in there? Uh, those mini dungeon bosses are satisfying because they're kind of easy. I think some are kind of easy, but some I think can be a nightmare depending on when you get there. Like some can be an absolute nightmare. Oh. All right, let's see. So I guess these uh, pickup materials you find, you can just get them at any time. So you said like behind a hut, I missed an area like here. Oh, yeah, I think I did miss this. Okay, lots of smithing stones. Okay, I guess I guess that's it then. What's the cape on your back? Uh, it's part of my armor. It's part of the armor. Also, like, that boss was pretty easy, but the enemies leading up to the boss are really hard. Like those dual, those dual super knights. Isn't that kind of weird? <laughs> Maybe like a little odd. How to describe my current look? Uh, it wasn't a one hit KO, but we whooped his ass. We like super, super whooped his ass. What did the boss drop? The boss dropped a great, the great club. What the boss dropped? Okay. Uh, all right. Where are we going now? That's a great club. First cave. Lady. Oh, yeah. You you guys want me to talk to the lady at the Dragon Manor again? Or the, the lava area? Guest hall. Okay. Temple. Oh, Volcano Manor. Okay. We'll go talk to her again. Let's see what she has to say. Did you get maps for the Death Eater area? No. I need to go get more maps. We'll see what she has to say. Yeah, we're mostly decks is our build. Mostly decks. Let's see what she's got to say. You, it's true then. You've defeated our lord. No. 
I must thank you. Our Lord was yet weak. You have taught us that. Defeat is not the end. Our Lord is immortal, and will one day rise again. Until then. Okay. I will leave the Volcano Manor before I suggest you do. I will miss these encounters. The champion who walks the tainted path shines. I always was an admirer. Okay, so they're like, hey. Uh, they are grateful that I killed their lord. Hey, this was the guy that first told us about the spear. What did he, what's we got here? My thanks. <laughs> so I guess that guy's happy we did that then. That guy's happy we did that. Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, let me, uh, let's pay the people here. Hang on. That guy is grateful. First try answer was yes. First try. Yeah. He left my thanks. Thank you. Okay. Uh, let's see. Where are we going now? Dude, what is that? What is this area? This was like a whole castle or something up there. So we could go that way. Um... I'm not sure. We could also go here, which we never got the map here. This is towards like the beginning, but the map I think is right there. Let's go here. Let's go quickly grab that map. Let's go grab that map. Yeah, yeah. We could try to get the boss runes too. Okay, so the boss rune, the map is like right this way. Okay. Uh Fucking bear jamboree over here apparently. Okay, we got the map. Bears are pretty chill apparently. They better be chill if they know what's good for them. Uh, why does my Reduvia require 13 arcane now, but didn't yesterday? Uh, I don't know, dude. <laughs> what are you asking me for? Okay, so we just got a new map here. Gale Tunnel. Is this like a, a mine shaft there? Is that what that is? Can't tell. Battlestar Galactic, is that Wolfhead guy south of you? I don't know. Miner Ur Tree, River Well, Fort Hate. Oh, dude, this has got to be something, right? Let's go there. Let's see what that is, real quick. Another cookbook. Here there be dragons. Man bear pig. The bear is just chilling. I'm gonna see what that thing is. Did I finish the game? Nope. Uh, we did beat a big boss today, apparently. The uh, giant snake god. Which, that was really cool. That was really, really cool. But, uh, yeah. Haven't finished the game yet. Did you beat the moose thing? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I think I've killed uh, every boss I've found. I think the one exception... The exceptions to the bosses I've ki I haven't killed are ones that like it seems like they wander, so I don't know how to find them again. That would be like the one exception. So this is how you get to the southern continent here. So we're trying to get up this cliff here. Do some bosses show up based on time of day? Probably. Yeah, probably.
Oh, this is a uh, this is an ever evergal. That's what this is. All right, forlorn hound evergal. Let's go do this one. You're playing the, yourself and you're mesmerized by everything. Can't wait to watch again after you beat it. Yeah, it's all going on YouTube very quickly. So. Ow. I know, I know, it's uh, Bloodhound's Fang. I know it's like jail or whatever. Oh, okay. GG. That's a lot of damage. One of the 14 players seen the word Gowl. So, what was the sword we just got? Bird Steel, Ivory Sickle is like Bloodhound's Fang. Mm, I don't even see it. A new weapon. Oh, there we go. Causes bleed. Oh, okay, so it's like uh, it's a curved greatsword. Ooh, that's a fucking cool weapon. I like it. Oh, wow. That's a cool one. <laughs> yeah, I like that one a lot. Very cool. Hmm? Have I tried a bow yet? I have not. Sword of the Snake King is awesome. Uh, we I just picked that up, actually. I have that sword, too. Uh, what was it? The Cursed? Some uh, Cursed Sword or something? Cursed Greatsword? I can't, I can't remember what it is. Uh, I can't tell if this is a Mineshaft or not. I can't tell. Let's go find out if that's a Mineshaft or not. All right, let's turn off this one. Kind of looks like it might be one. Let's go here. Barb can't see red. A new a new weapon to level. Hey, you know, leveling weapons is easier now than it used to be because we can buy a lot of the stones. We can't buy that many of them. We can buy a lot of them. There's a red mark on the map. Thanks. Okay. Another cookbook. Are we, uh, apparently we never found this, uh, grace here. Okay. I'm so trash at this game. There's some blue on the map too. Apparently we never found this one. I think we'll be fine. We'll be fine, guys. Don't worry. Game over, Something here. Oh, <laughs> sorry, bird. <laughs> Whoops. Is there a cave down here? Kind of looks like there might be a cave down here.
Can you ask me about bosses or no spoilers? Uh, I do not want to know stuff that I don't know. So I'd prefer it's like, hey, have you fought the, the have you fought the turtle alert, the Lord of the Ding Dong Dong? And he's got these crazy attacks. I don't want to know stuff. If you want to ask me about bosses I've already seen and, and, and fought and killed, then yeah, that's fine. big snaky guy oh the snake the snake boss was fucking sick as hell i don't know if it was my favorite like combat wise in terms of like the fight itself but i would say that it was by far i think the best iteration of the storm ruler style fight that they've done i liked it a lot more like all of the storm ruler fights in the past were cool for spectacle and they were like bad for the actual fight this one was like much better and the actual this one was a much better fight for sure and the spectacle was like was so over the top cool okay it seems like we found another uh thing here i'm too overpowered for these bosses i mean i'm just exploring as we go dude what more can i do Murkwater catacombs this was my favorite combat fight. Uh, I've had a lot of fights today. How? Fuck you. Okay, I'm pro. I think I might be too OP for this place too. <laughs> uh, I think Mare gets a great boss. The Murgot, Mergot, I think he's a great boss for sure. Uh, sure, pull the lever. This was your first dungeon. What is this? Which main boss would you like? I thought that the moon sorceress lady, I thought she was really cool, honestly. Um, that was, that was a very, very cool fight. I enjoyed that fight a lot. Yeah, this seems like a uh, beginner dungeon. <laughs> oh, this guy's cool. Oh, there you <laughs> Battle hammer. Huh? Eh? No, he was cool. Get wrecked. <laughs> I crushed him harder than you did. Well, I'm I'm kind of I'm just kind of looking around and, and finding new stuff if I can. Maybe I should be using like uh, a level one weapon against some of these fights. I can't lower all my stats, but I can lower some of them. It's kind of weird how I feel like this area... Oh, shit. Look what we found. Oh, they're painting. I am the boss fight. Cool. Home, Homing instinct. So... Man, some of these, like, go to this right place. No snow ahead. Some of these, like, go to the right place things. They're fucking hard, man. I don't recognize that at all. I really don't recognize that. Um, Like, it's kind of weird that this beginner area is right up next to, like, a really hard area. <laughs> That's kind of a little weird. <laughs> but... I guess I never went to that tree. Let's go to that tree. I never went to that tree. Ah, uh, it's like the memories from Breath of the Wild. So the tree, I think, is this way. Oh, yeah. I think I remember coming here when I first started the game, and I was like, these guys were fucking destroying me. And I was like, oh, I guess I'm going the other way. Uh, 
Okay, well, that's a little more challenging. <laughs> that's more challenging than the last fight. Okay, cool. Still destroying me. I've been playing pretty much nonstop since release, yeah. There's, this game is so much better about dying in boss fights than pre the previous games. So this, man, you can't do the jump thing versus this guy because he, uh, he explodes with poison when he does that. Uh-oh, we're in trouble. What was I going to do there? Hey, all right. You roll fast. Enemy fell. Green burst crystal tear, flame shrouding cracked tear. Holy fuck, you're around. Okay. It's like a castle over there. Ooh. Ooh. It's kind of sneaky back here, isn't this? The sneaky one. Having to split your time between this and Horizon 2 is, uh, sucks. Hmm? How expensive are the 90s to level? I think leveling cost me 40 or 50. I think it's like 50,000 ish now. Yeah, 51,000 to level up. Uh, let's grab another Dex. Grab another Dex. Okay. The game definitely rewards exploration. Absolutely. Yeah, and it's rewarding not only in the sense of like, you know, you get stuff in the game for it. It's rewarding in the sense that like the game has so many unique vistas and unique things. Some of the castles and stuff are some of like the pits and castles a little more generic. Uh, like this one, we've been in we've been in stuff that kind of looked like this before. So that I wouldn't say this is like oh my god something totally new. But um. There's a lot of really unique areas and stuff. I don't know what the soft cap is. I have no idea. I don't know how the, I don't know all this. The, I'm not a, when it comes to games, I'm not a number cruncher. So I can't tell you like, oh yeah, be at this stat. And at, at this one, you start getting minimal returns. I'm not a number cruncher. Nobody really knows for sure about love. Right, right. That's not me. I'm not a number cruncher. I go places and kill things and do things. And get hit. Does anybody feel like these assholes are some of the most... These, like, little stone guys are some of the most aggressive, mean little son of a bitches in the whole game. They are mean. They are hard to hit. They do a lot of damage. They resist a lot of damage. These are some mean sons of bitches. Somewhere a heavy door opened. Yep, got it. Visions of death. 
How is my HP huge? Your character has the HP of a rat. So maybe something opened here? I didn't, didn't see it. Can I, uh, can I actually heal that? Oh, actually, oh, entry seal. Ah, uh, so these are all different seals that I have. Interesting. This one requires 40 faith. This one only requires 17 intelligence. We're actually, we're one level away from using the golden order seal, which that might be good. Maybe we should use that. Yeah, I'm about to die. Does I, does this heal it? It does heal it. Good. Nice. Okay, so it said a door open somewhere, but where? Cheeky fucks. You cheeky fucks. Cheeky fucks. Joy. Yep. Important question, is there a secret cow level in the game? Whoops. Looking for the ambush. I'm not sure why there are crabs here. Crab dungeon. Are there hidden walls in this game? Yes, there are hidden walls in this game. In fact, uh, I mean, spoilers, obviously. I don't know how else you would do. Like, so we found that hidden door in the volcano area. If you didn't have the hidden door, was there another way to access that entire area? Because it didn't seem like there was there was a way. <laughs> didn't I didn't see another way. That was a really that was a you know what's funny is that that was a really rude one too because you can't attack in there you can only roll. We got another imp head. You can only roll to do that. Yeah, I don't know if there's another way into the whole volcano area. I don't know. You know what's funny is the R2 on this weapon is like almost as fast as the R1. Like, here's R1, and then here's R2. <laughs> like, okay, sure. Secret ahead. Bullshit. You getting killed by the Maiden and Rhea Lucaria. Which one's the Maiden? The The boss? Moon girl, yeah, she's uh, she's not easy. If you get hit like once by one of her attacks, that's can be pretty rough. Okay, so let's go. I guess we're going back down here because we missed something. Thanks, stream today. I'm currently being um recovering from being hospitalized. You are you okay, Comanche? How are you? What happened? I've been to the hospital in a, in a long time, and I really hope to keep it that way. Oh God, this piece of poop. Would like to keep it that way. Oh, man. oh, okay. That was more effective. Diverticulitis. I I've heard of diverticulitis, but I have no idea what it actually is. I have heard of it though. Okay, so we open this door. Oh boy.
All right. Let's start a bet. Start prediction. First try. Place your bets. Left side appendicitis. Colin telling you to fuck yourself. I have no idea what's in here. Free bread. I have no idea. Can you show the area? I mean, here's where we are. I don't know. I'm not even sure. Wait, did we ever? Oh, this is where we are. Minor Erd Tree Catacombs, I guess. So I have no idea what this is going to be. No idea. Uh, Jacko Banter. Thank you for the 10 months. Thank you, Jacko Banter. I really like that going into these these little tunnels, you really do have no idea what it's going to be. Like, it could it could be anything. So. Easy bread. That is not what diverticulitis is. Have you visited one of the big glowing trees yet? Uh, I have... I've been to a lot of the map, man. <laughs> I've been to a lot. I've seen a lot. There's still an insane amount to do, but uh, yeah, I've, I've been to a lot, dude. <laughs> I've been to a lot. All right, let's go. Oh, double statues. Okay, how much does the flail do? Okay, the flail does a bit more. Come on, man, assholes. Oh my god, dude, these 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 things are ridiculous. Boy, that is a uh, that is a very fast and janky looking animation, dude. such a fast that is such a fast jank looking animation like get out of here it's like i don't even think there is an animation it's like the sword is up and then the sword is down it's so <laughs> all right gg you're into this double boss early on you got your ass handed to you how much decks needed to change the litter box? I'm assuming that that's the end here. I'm assuming that that was everything. I understand that they're meant to be statues, I know, but the, the fact that just, it, it does look a little weird to me. Oh, I don't know. I think this, I think that that boss still has some delayed animations. The, the, it hits the ground with the sword sweep and then it like sits there for a second and then it goes. All right, where's my, uh, where's my sword? Morgoth's cursed sword. All right, where are we going next? Okay, there's a map here. Let's go there. All right, we're going to go to five, then four or five, then three or whatever. You know, thank you, Entropic. Thank you. Pay the back! Pay the back! Thank you, Entropic. 
What ending are we aiming for? I don't know anything. Of, I don't know. I don't know. It seems like we have an option of burning the tree. And uh, like are burning the tree, burning ourselves. So this, it seems like we have an option of burning the tree, burning ourselves, or restoring like the grace and becoming the Elden Lord. Like that seems to be our choices right now. But as for like what I'm trying to do, like I don't fucking know, dude. So we're going towards five. <laughs> Shut up about the bread. Oh, there's a steak. Apparently there's a steak nearby. Okay, sure. Speaking of flawless animations. Yeah, sometimes I, I think it's a little strange to me. The... I think sometimes the falling in the game, like if we're like, let's be, let's be hyper. Like, obviously everybody is in love with this game. Everybody's enjoying it, but let's be like hyper critical of it and stuff and like analyze the games good and bad. I think sometimes the falling and dying is a little weird. Like, I don't know if I don't have it. I don't know if it's because I don't have a sense of fall damage yet, but like, Dying right there felt strange to me. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Feels a little weird to me. It's like sometimes I'm just like, oh, you're dead. And then I'll, and then I'll go back and do the jump and then I'm totally fine. I feel like it's a little weird. The line between here is an area, here is a fall that will kill you, guaranteed to kill you. And here is a fall that you will totally survive and be fine of. It seems like there's a very thin line there. There's a very thin line. It's never, it never really like on, it doesn't detract from the experience for me at all because typically you'll, you'll respawn right where you just were most of the time. It's just a little like, why is it like that? It's a little strange, I think. I'd say for the most part, it's totally fine. Bro, who fucking did that? What the fuck is that? Who the hell is doing that shit? Who the hell is that guy? Make him the fucking hero of the game, apparently. Look at this fucking guy. Bye. <laughs> See ya. Um, okay. Uh, I am using Murgot's, this is Murgot's, uh, sword, Murgot's great sword. He ain't going to be an Elden Ring too. Oh, man. Whoa. Aw, try attacking. And behold, monster. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> okay. Knock, knock. He's like, sup. S tier tip. Uh, super baked potato. Thank you for the 19 months. Thank you very much. Uh, can I have a cup of, oh, can I have a cider? Thank you. I have one of my 1911s. I demand you go back and like that tip. Yeah. 
You want a piece of me? Get him out of here. Red main knight armor. Uh, oh. That's some cool looking armor. Cool cape, too. Uh, it's not as cool as this, though. <laughs> not as cool as this. Star Scourge Heirloom. Convene the festival of war. Honor General Don with a warrior's glory. It's in your hands, Sir Jaren. Uh, was that a rune? Raises strength. So this looks like this raises your strength by five. Wow, that's cool. Gives you five more strength. Okay. You can quite round. The message inside the chest was fun to you. How many months pregnant am I? You can grow into this armor. Are there specific boss weapons and spells like in Souls game where you can use the boss to create a weapon? Samalander? Yes. Yes, there are. In fact, this sword I have was a boss weapon. Thank you. This is, in fact, the boss weapon right here. Uh, all right. Let's do it. What are the new things you got for killing the Erd Tree Avatar? I don't remember what I got for doing that. Oh. Okay, I think I know where we are. You know, I've never been able... To, okay, so I've never been able to get into this castle. Um, and there, I think last time I tried to get in here, I got massacred. I don't remember what it was, but I got absolutely massacred. Singular strike. Uh, Vampire Lestat, thank you so much for the 15 months. Thank you, Vampire Lestat. Tears, oh tears, all the more tears ahead. Hmm. Okay. All right, let me pay the bet. Hang on. I will pay the bet. Uh, first try answer was yes. First try. There you go. Paid the bet. Another kitty. I think I should have jumped. I think I should have jumped. Did not jump. I sometimes forget I can jump. Oops. I don't know how you deal with weekend chat. It's insufferable. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay, we're way over here. So we were we just died kind of over there. Let's just warp back there. Okay. Hmm. I am drinking a 1911 cider, and it is quite delicious. This has become my favorite cider. Um, I love cider. Some ciders are too sweet. And I would say that 1911 is a very, very not sweet spider. It's very dry. Uh, not sweet cider. It's very dry. And I definitely prefer that. Uh, yeah. When cider is too sweet, it's gross. Uh, Dale Siav, thank you for 26 months. Thank you, Dale Siav. Fuck you. Fuck you, too. <laughs> Fuck you three. Fuck Gift you. Sub.
Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. What do you got? Uh, Ash of War Flaming Strike. Oh, uh, let's see. We got a ladder going up. We got the stairs. Let's try the stairs first. Uh, Jay Lang, thanks so much for the gift sub. Thank you, Jay Lang. Okay, let's try the ladder. <laughs> Can you do a fire sword then? Yeah, so that Ash of War, you could take that and apply that to weapons where it would apply to. And you can get some kind of flaming strike of a weapon. Pretty much so what they did, if you've played Dark... So Red Main Castle. If you've played Dark Souls 3, you know that weapon arts are tied to s certain weapons and you can't change them. What this game does... Is there a Braves game going on here? Atlanta Braves? <laughs> Give him the chop. Oh. <laughs> Very empty. Good luck. Charlie Sheen's my uh finest role. Is that uh what what movie was that? Major leagues. their cookbook hmm. I feel like uh while Elden Ring soundtrack the music isn't always like super present a lot of the time I feel like it kind of makes Dark Souls 3 and like Dark Souls 1 and 3 seem like a silent game by comparison. These games have the Elden Ring has a great like atmosphere. Hmm? Uh apparently there's anything there. Uh in Dark Souls 3 you can uh let's see. Hidden path ahead. Fuck you. Dark Souls 3, you can, uh, weapon arts are tied to individual weapons and, and you can't change them. You can only just use a different weapon. In this game, you can edit your weapon arts. Uh, you can't do things that make like no sense. Like you can't give like a spear, a sword move, you know, but uh, you can change your weapons and uh, you, there's a lot you can do with it. So that's pretty cool. Also, the weapon arts appear to be tied uh, they're also tied to, uh, the scaling of the weapon. So there's like another aspect to it. Really cool. I think it's a, it's a, it's a cool, uh, very cool change that gives the player. There's a lot of things that give the player a lot more control over what they can and can't do. Uh, don't die, please. Okay. When I jump, I'm never sure if I'm going to live or die. i to be real with you guys. I actually don't know. It's like, I hope I don't die. <laughs> okay, I think there's some grace over here. The grace is really smart too, because bonfires, I think everybody has run past a bonfire in their time. And that can be pretty frustrating. A grace kind of points you like, hey, over here. Like it 
it's a little bit more and it makes sense because uh i feel like if you just could easily run past the grace it would make exploring the world a lot more tedious so i don't know what's going on here i don't know it seems pretty empty uh, a destroyed, kind of ruined castle. And a big fucking tiger down there. I still do it as, I still do that as well, sadness. I still run past shit as well, but uh, not nearly as much. Uh, it's not just tigers, it's dual tigers. One of these is rough. Two of these is like a big fuck you. Okay. Oh, at least we just got the thing. 30, 30,000 souls probably want those back. Yeah, probably. I never really care too much about souls because they're replaceable. Not too worried about it. We'll get them back. Even if I lost these. You know what's cool is that you see how the the enemy actually uh, is hitting one another. So there's friendly fire here. Oh. Okay. Won't turn down somber smithing stones. There's always a follow-up, isn't there? Another somber smithing stone. Murder cat. Who's the evil genius to gate the lion a big sword? You know, I don't think attaching a big sword to a lion is going to work out for the people doing that. It's just a hunch in real life. Just a hunch. I get my cat to wear a collar. Yeah, <laughs> that's so true. Hmm. Man, this area is kind of baffling. Uh, I can't summon my horse in here. That's why you apply a hammer before a sword. I would say that this area so far is uh, uniquely baffling. Like uh, the, the humming, or this, the incantations. I read a comment that said that Elden Ring is like Dark Souls three, three, uh, 4, 5, and 6 combined. And I think that that comment is pretty spot on for how this game feels. Let's go ahead and rest here, I guess. What level are we? Uh, what level am I? 93. Level 93. Uh, oh, that's all we know. We know you, right? What's up, dude? Hmm. Thought I might find you here. I must admit, I was a little worried. We missed our meeting. 
But it looks like you're still in one piece, eh? You must have heard by now, right? That Starsker Dredan holds Rani's fate in stasis. But once he's out of the way, it'll spring back into motion. So now, we stand against the demigod once known as the strongest of them all. The way ahead is pleasingly simple. We fight, sword and fang. Into the fray together. <laughs> Demigod of the Shattering awaits you. Champions, prepare for battle. Defeat the general, claim glory, and grab that great rune. A celebration of war. The Radon Festival. Yeah, it looks like me. <laughs> that guy must be, uh, what's the name? Lionel? Lionel. That's Lionel, I guess. Ah, if it isn't a tarnished warrior. <laughs> I am the warrior Jar, Iron Fist Alexander. <laughs> the pleasure is mine. Do you know for whom this festival is being held? Well, it is none other than General Radan himself to think. I could face a great champion of the shattering. Just accept it. God in the flesh. Oh, God. In truth, I quiver at the thought. Such is his frightful repute. But the fear simply assures me the ordeal is worth undertaking. Be sure to get a good vantage, my friend. I, Iron Fist Alexander, do hereby vow to unflinchingly brave this ordeal. Be sure to get a good I. I okay. <laughs> Every time you hear I'm further and with a bigger hat. Uh, what's up, man? Are you good and prepared, young chum? The festival begins. Not yet. I see when you are ready. Okay. Before let's I kinda wanna look around here before we do that. Because I don't know what's about to happen. I do not know what's about to happen. So let's, uh... Make a little look or look see around. Ah, door. Okay, well, I guess... I guess we're gonna say we're ready. Festival. Ready as I'll ever be. Before we begin, allow me to paint you the full picture. This is unusual for for a Souls like game, or for From Software. General Radan is cursed ever to wander. Inside by Melania's scarlet rot, his wits are long gone. Now he gathers the corpses of former friends and foes alike, gorging on them like a dog. at the sky but now we must make merry oh gathering of champions the revels begin the celebration of war the Radan festival <laughs> Where is it? Heartening cry. <laughs> I 
Uh, okay. You will find the field of battle past the church ahead, upon the shore under the fort. General Radan is there, even now, divested of his wits, devouring corpses, and howling at the sky. Uh, it sounds like we're about to get our ass kicked. Is, is what it sounds like. <laughs> sounds like we're about to get our ass kicked. Okay, so now this door is open. Smithing stone. All right, you guys want to bet? Sure. Sounds like we're about to get our ass kicked. First try? Yes or no? Sounds like we're about to get our ass kicked. Uh, is this a door? Ah, uh, door. Okay, weird. Uh, <laughs> okay. Diversion, thank you for the 50 months. Thank you, Diversion. Appreciate it. Okay, so you can get a horse here. Alright, let's go. It's gonna warp me to the boss fight here. Star Scourge Radon. Okay, well, that's really not working, is it? Is he on a horse? <laughs> Whoa! Was that the bleed that kind of... I think the bleed just took effect. That poor horse. First of all, I feel bad for the horse, dude. <laughs> okay, man. So he's uh he's far away at the start, and man, he snipes you real hard off that thing. Okay, interesting. Like he snipes you right off. Uh Solaris, thank you for the 24 months. Thank you, Solaris. Let's try again. That was a good first try. Oh, no, I don't want to summon. No, no, I don't want to summon. No, 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 no. Get out of here. Hang on. Casual greeting. I do not want to summon. Get me out of here. No, 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 no. I, I just pressed Y there. I thought I thought it was a message. I thought it was a message. So OP, I tried taking the... I thought I thought it was a message. I didn't want to summon. Better off at the glue factory. It's, yeah, I guess those are the other guys that were up there. We can summon... Can you summon the pot, I wonder? Can you summon the pot? <laughs> Either way, I don't want to summon. <laughs> you can summon the pot? That's so cool. All right, let's... I want to see it. Let's see it. 
Even if I die, whatever. Oh, is it? Okay, so... Maybe the pot's over here. Ah! <laughs> yeah! Yeah, bring him in! Summon the warrior jar. Ah, uh, the warrior jar is getting fucked up right now. I don't know, Warrior Jar. I don't know if you're up to the task here, man. <laughs> He's almost there. <laughs> don't let him die. Wow, 36 damage, huh? 36. It's like mashing B. Okay. If I beat him now, it's because of the jar. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to summon anyway. Are the Lord ruined the game's Lord souls? I mean, like, kind of, I guess. I haven't run into, like, I haven't met a wall in the game that was like, oh, okay, I can't get past this because I don't have the Lord souls. So, so far, that hasn't happened. It seems like you can just keep going wherever the fuck you want. So, all right. Let's get back in there. I would ride the horse to get closer, but uh, it seems like he one shots the horse with this arrow shot. So I don't think we want to do that. Jesus Christ.
Excuse me? Thank you for the four dollars. Thank you, River Hill. Mm, let's try the claws. We haven't tried the claws in a little while. Hook keen hook claws plus twenty. Let's go with the claws. I've been kind of fighting with one hand behind my back. Let's use both hands. Bro, what the fuck was that shit? <laughs> uh, River Hill, thank you so much. Hilarious, thank you for the twenty-four months. Thank you very much. I've been fighting with one hand behind my back. Let's go with the claws. I'd say it's really hard to first try bosses like this with these like insane gimmicks, combos that never end, like the damage output. It's really, it would be really, really like basically impossible to try to one shot some of these bosses. Like there, there's like some basic, some like there's pretty much some trial and error here of like, what the hell do you even do? You know, there's definitely some trial and error here, I think. Tried. I think I just have to dodge it. GG. And we got his great rune. Nice. The claws seem pretty good.
The fuck was that supposed to be? Like a nuclear bomb just went off. Oh, hey, buddy. Uh, how many, uh, 70,000? Okay. Did I just kill the sun? I don't know what we did. What do you got? Ah, uh, good. I was waiting for you. Oh, what a sick way to fight, eh? The glory of the clash is shared. By Radan. And you. And how <laughs> did you see that afterwards? A falling star right before our eyes. I can't fathom how Radan was holding back something of that scale. He was a living legend if ever I saw one. And the path has now been cleared. To Nokla, where Rani's fate will be decided. Let's meet where the falling star bit the earth. We'll take up our souls once more for Mistress Rani. Bro, you didn't do a fucking thing. Let's meet where the falling star and we'll go into battle. My only purpose the curtain is rising. You didn't do a fucking thing. So where it said that the star hit. Where the hell did the star hit? <laughs> Where the hell did that happen, right? Uh, is there actually a path from here? I don't actually know. This says return to entrance. So, is this where I am? Yeah, this is where I am. Let me ride around here for a second. Is there a red mark on the map? Uh, there is a mark on the map. I think one of the marks on the map is for they want me to kill somebody and let's go back to my sword how long is this game uh let's see we are 35 about 36 hours in and i still i'm still finding like we're still going <laughs> We are still going. And I like, and that's also like, that's 36 hours. Like I, I think the longest I've been stuck on a boss might've been like Moog or something. Like I haven't been getting stuck on stuff too much. So. Thirty hours, 30% 30 done. Dude, I'd, I'd be happy if that was the case. I don't really want this game to end, man. I don't want it to end. Okay, it seems like there's nothing to do here. Uh, let's go back. Yeah, I think if you were, if you were like, uh, I would say that I'm not a casual Souls player anymore. Like, I've played a lot of Dark Souls. I've played a lot of these games. If you were like a casual Souls player, it would take you much longer to reach where I am at this point. It would take you a lot longer. I haven't got the map for this area. I need to. I need to. Yeah, I've 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 done a lot of soul stuff, so I wouldn't say I'm a casual at this point. I don't know, maybe this boss was easier from horseback or, or what. I honestly don't know. DLC release before we get to the credits. I can't get past the first cave. Well, the, uh, uh, you know, I, I, as much as I like to toot my own horn, there's people who have beaten all the games, hitless, speedrunners, challenge runners, like, you know, fist only runs, you know, like there's people who are very, very good at these games. So. Oh, so this put me out way over here now. Okay, let's go finally get the map. Three is the map. Let's go get the fucking map for this area, please. I feel like uh, Raban was kind of cool, but uh, nowhere near as cool as the dragon god thing. The snake god, that was fucking insane. Raban was pretty cool. He killed, oh my God, you sons of fucking bitches. Can I heal once, please? Oh. My God. <laughs> what the hell? Come on. Holy shit. 
The throwing rocks. There's like five dogs here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Okay, I should have done this a long time ago. Here we go. Map found. Okay, we now have the map of this area. See, it looks like chamber outside the plaza. It looks like that was pointing me towards something. I wonder where the th where did the thing hit? Church of the Plague. I wonder where that hit. I don't know. Okay, we talked to you. Trade again. Oh, so I was right next to this guy, and I went the other way. I can forgive you hitting me. I don't forgive you hitting the merchant. I forgive you hitting me. I do not forgive you hitting the poor merchant, dude. That merchant didn't do shit to you, brother. Ash of War, Poison Moth. Hey, dude. I'm finished yet. <laughs> uh, I would like to buy your stone sword key. Sure, give me this one too. Why not? Champion headband. All right. A lot of the stuff we're crafting here kind of feels like it's just more and more arrows. Like, it feels like it's, like, mostly arrows. <laughs> what the fuck is that thing? What are you? Oh, uh, you killed my horse. Boy, this area is full of assholes. Shocker. Oh, what? Oh, my. What the f You are full of shit, game. You are full of shit, game. And you goddamn know it. You are full of shit, and you know it. Get wrecked? Yeah, it got me. That's a lot of runes. We'll be all right. This game is ridiculous. Game doesn't give a fuck. This game can be pretty ridiculous sometimes, man. A long time ago, I said, you know what? It wouldn't surprise me if Elden Ring was going to be easier than Sekiro. 
and that the game was going to be because you know there was some backlash about Sekiro it's like maybe they would tune it down a little bit uh that was not the case <laughs> that was definitely not the case this game just consistently and constantly throws new asshole enemies it is it is it is much harder than Sekiro the only difference is that Sekiro in this game gives you a lot of options for like go level up go get a weapon go explore somewhere else summon a partner like so the game has lots of options in that regard uh which Sekiro doesn't have bro please I just am trying to god how did this bird follow me this entire fucking way still following me follow me like 40 miles the hell out of here man oh my god give me a fucking break oh okay i get it he followed me no he followed me a fucking mile and a half read message stop by the shack That's weird because that's not a player left message. That's a message from the devs. That's interesting. Okay. How does fall in order compare in difficulty? These games I beat that in master scene when I can beat this. Uh, I'm sure you could, if, if you beat that, you'd probably be okay in this game. I am Gary, a great sage in my day. Anyway. I'd hoped to ask a favor when one of your ilk came along. A strapping young tarnished, able to cross the sconed fret. I'll provide fine recompense. Should you accept, I will teach you the secret of Celia, the town you see there. Hear the request. Ah, then you are willing to lend a hand, are you? I need your help to heal a certain young girl. Her name is Millicent. Is she the one that's being uh, affected by the scarlet rot? Resting at the church atop the cliff. Yeah. Okay, we've seen her. Sickness. The rotting sickness that afflicts Millicent has no cure. When the earth tree flourished, even the demigods could not stave off its effects, despite their nigh god. But Millicent's suffering can be ameliorated. For this, you are to find a certain needle. Seek the deep scarlet swamp of Aeonia out the needle made from unalloyed gold is lost. Okay. So get the needle in the Aeonia swamp to cure her. And uh this guy will teach us the secret of this town. Interesting. Oh, let me, uh, hang on. Let me stop somewhere. Let me pay the people so people will not bother me anymore. Uh, first try. The answer is no. It was not first try. Uh, what advice can you give to someone who will be starting on a game like this and has no experience with other games like this? I would say to, uh, your best bet is so, okay. First of all, when you die, do not feel discouraged or dejected because dying is a part of these games and I die like everybody like I'm a pretty experienced souls player and whether you're like the happy hob or squilla killer or me or a total noob you're going to die a lot uh that would be so don't feel bad when you die dying is normal second I would say that if you get stuck if you're hitting enemies and you're doing like no damage and you're dying in like one fucking hit maybe you're not in the right area and maybe you should go somewhere else and maybe you should keep exploring and if you explore in this game, not only are you going to level up and get more souls, you're also going to like get upgrade materials and better Estus, like better like drinks for your Crimson Flask. So keep exploring, keep looking around uh, and don't if you're stuck on something, there's no reason for you to beat your brains out against the wall. Like there's no reason for you to like, oh, OK, well, I'm just going to fight this boss for six hours. Like there's no reason for you to do that. If you see me doing something like that, that's because I'm stubborn and I like the challenge. So you should not, that doesn't mean you should do something like that. So just for the record, maybe, maybe that's not your best bet. Yeah. Explore, look around and, uh, death is part of the game. 
and dying and learning is all part of the experience. Also, you can like, so so right now, see, I have 70,000. Like, let's say you're in my position. You have enough souls to level up. Maybe now you could like, okay, well, I know I, I know I have a lot of souls. Let me go. Let me go level up before I go into a place that's going to kill me. Might be a good idea to make sure you're not losing souls everywhere. So this is the swamp the guy was telling me about. Somewhere in this swamp is a golden needle. Let me take a look at my key items here. Oh, <laughs> gold sewing needle. Uh, okay. I guess that's what I needed then, huh? Uh, hey man. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> To be honest with you, bro, I didn't know you were a boss. Thought you were just a dude. you man how many fucking guys did he have around with them jeez man isn't commander o'neill from stargate <sighs> needs more ads uh where was this guy oh, here he is fight Fuck you, dude. Hey, great. What is the difference between enemy felled and great enemy felled? I have no idea. Commander standard on Al. Oh, that was what he needed. Wow. So the thing he tells you to get is like 15 feet away. <laughs> That's what we needed. That was what we needed. A boss and a main boss. Maybe great en enemy felled is like required boss, right? Like required boss defeated. Maybe that's what that means. Grab that. Or we can talk to Melina. What does she have to say? Think not of the kindling. 
I shall see to that. All I ask of you is to make the journey to the snowy mountain tops. I know I'm asking you to commit a cardinal sin, but it must be done. And that is the path. Of what is your mind? There is something I'd like to say. My purpose was given to me by my mother, but now I act of my own volition. I have set my heart upon the world that I would have, regardless of my mother's design. I won't allow anyone to speak ill of that, not even you. She's a uh, somewhat sinister, wouldn't you say? Somewhat sinister. I'm gonna have my way regardless. Somewhat sinister? Hmm. Okay, so this guy asked me to go cure her. We have the needle. But yeah, anyway, I feel like, um... I feel like that advice might help. It also can help you, at least initially, to focus on a certain weapon, like... I know, I know I'm, I'm saying this when I've upgraded so many different weapons over the course of my playthrough, but it can really help you to focus a weapon and make that weapon better rather than spreading out like, Ooh, I'll upgrade this one. Ooh, I'll upgrade this one. The funny thing is that I say that when I've been like doing that since the very start. So we're heading towards five. I've been doing that. So, but focusing on a weapon can really help. Um... Why am I so fat in the game? Listen, man. Hey, what happened to my horse? Millicent has died. Okay. <laughs> weird. Kind of weird. I should stop by, I guess. All right. Five is this way. Now I can sell the needle? I don't know what's going on right now. I'm a little confused. I'm going to head towards the map because I really want to get this map. The map is at the five space. Where the fuck am I? <laughs> Where the hell am I right now? Seath's toilet. <laughs> that's a good that's a good comment. Oh man. I found kyanite, yeah. Is this the star that fell? Almost certainly no, right? That can't be it. I feel like the star that fell must be, uh, it must be a crater somewhere, right? Must be a crater somewhere, but... I'm letting the girl suffer for some cool crystals. Back with another Barbathon to appease Twitch chat. The hell is that? Co is that a copy pasta, Raza? What is that? Hmm. I was trying to head towards five. I need to get up, though. Oh, is this a merchant? 
No, you're not a merchant. You're not a merchant at all. Ooh, we've been in here. Uh, Ender, thank you for the brand new sub. Thank you, Ender. Rock sling. Okay, we're slinging rocks. <laughs> uh, I think I have an IMDB page, yeah. Uh, I don't, it's not like I maintain it or something. It's just, you know, basically trolls have decided to do that. <laughs> know where I'm from? That means something else. Did I defeat the giant snake guy earlier? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. So I haven't wanted to, I, I don't want to watch other people and have stuff spoiled for me but i've been finding it like impossible to resist i haven't had anything spoiled for me really like the only thing i've really seen is like i saw the centipede asshole boss i saw that on like smoke oak stream it's so hard to not watch people though it's so hard it really is hard to not watch people because i'm like it's so interesting like, I want to see, like, I've been really enjoying watching Patty because, like, I want to see what weapons Patty's going for because, like, he's got, like, a magic build and shit. It's so hard to not watch people. The Battle of Aeonia, Radana, Melania locked in stalemate, then the Scarlet Rot blooms. Do. Sorry, thumbnail do Kalen. I decided to take my chances. <laughs> Life steal fist. Fuck you. All right, so we want to grab the map for this area. I feel like that tower is how we're going to be able to activate one of the great runes, right? This tower in front of me. Streamers take the sanctity of a pure playthrough a little too seriously. Sometimes, yeah. Um, I've tried to cool down my mods in the past, like more recently, like... You know, where they're trying to time people out and prevent spoilers and banning people. It's like, just don't even bother. It's not worth it. It's definitely not worth going through that. I don't, I don't want my mods... My mods are not here to police, like, my playthrough, you know? At some point, you just... If you just give up and just, you know... Like, yeah, you can, you can explain to people, but, like, for the most part... It, here's the thing. If you don't... When Avengers Endgame was coming out... There were people going around on, on Twitch, spoiling it. Like, ho, oh, ho, your spoilers. I didn't get any spoilers. You know why I didn't get any spoilers? Because I was like, I don't fucking care. I don't, I don't, I don't like Marvel shit. Like, I don't care at all. I didn't get a single spoiler. Got none. <laughs> if you don't care, you won't get spoiled. You won't get spoiled. Maybe like accidentally somebody will like, somebody will blurt something, you know, but like really. Like, it's not really much of a spoiler, you know, so. Did I cry when Tony died? <gasps> spoiler. Touch grass. Darth Vader dies at the end of the Avengers. Damn, dude. Okay, here's the map. Finally get this map. I realized way too late that you can see the maps on the edge. All right, got another map. This entire area. Um, that's where we just were. This is where we are. What is that over there? How many fucking dragons are over here? 
How many fucking dragons are here? That's a big map. Bonk. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. Look at that asshole over there. There's a ladder. Look at this asshole. These guys are a little tougher. They're surviving a few hits. Uh, okay. Of course, that's the thing. Whatever happened with the disappearing, the disappearing castle? Dude, I don't know about that, man. I don't know about the disappearing castle. The only thing... Okay, so a couple days ago, I was in a random area of the map, and I looked over, and I and there was, like, a tower. And I looked at the tower, and then, like, within, like, two seconds, it vanished and disappeared. And it, was, it happened so fast that chat was like, no, nah, there wasn't a tower there. No, nah, it was just a glitch. There was definitely a tower that appeared and disappeared, and I don't know what that is. I don't know where that is. I don't know what that's referring to. I don't know. I have no idea. Yikes. Uh, Mr. Baz, thank you for the six months. Just beat Dark Souls 3 plus DLC. About to start out the ring, dude. I hope you enjoy it. Is there a multiplayer code out there? Uh, I haven't, I haven't done any multiplayer at all. Like, no co-op or anything like that. Hole ahead. Thanks, man. Why is it always dead end? Ah, regret. It is a dead end. Like we're going down. There's an item over there. Dead end ahead. Seek high road. It might be a dead end, but what about the item? Uh, that was Hogwarts and you're just a muggle. Of course you can't see it. Dude, I don't know what that was. Hey, I'll take the stone short the stone sword key. It's not a dead end in my book. So that was kind of a loop back around here, was it not? Yeah, it was kind of a loop. I did summon the pot. The pot got his ass whooped by General Raban. <laughs> he got his ass fucking whooped. He was doing like 30 damage a hit. Time for introspection. Bro, what is this fucking platforming section over here? What is this shit? Too high up. Too high up. Go had to do a shell jump to get up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh shit. Divine Tower of Kaled. We, we're gonna touch some grace. Visions of regret. Go 
we're controlling Elden Ring. Hope you haven't, uh, hope you haven't been watching to avoid spoilers, dude. I totally understand. Uh, I've been having a great time with the game. <laughs> Get fucking wrecked. Does not open from this side. Uh, hoot. Whoa, what the fuck? I feel like I'm in Halo right now or something. Too high up, all the more didn't expect down. You know what's funny is that all day today, literally the entire day, I've been avoiding the, the new area we opened up, strike. like the snowy area. I haven't gone there at all. I've just been doing other stuff. And the other stuff has been just so amazing. Ah, fear. All the more tears. Look carefully. Try rolling. Let there be tunnel. No tunnel. Bro, seriously? <laughs> Didn't expect down. This gives me broom tower vibes. You almost shit yourself? Calm down, man. We'll get through it together. Try jumping off. No shit. I want to go home. Oh, I want to go home. By the way, I want to go home. Oh, I want to go home. Fine. Applaud. <laughs> Suicide. Uh, V10, dude. Thank you for the three months. Thank you, V10, dude. All right. I got to get up. I got to pee. I got to pee. I'll be back in one second. I super duper got to pee. Need you wash your hands? And I always wash my hands. All right. Seems like a pretty, pretty precarious uh, path downward here. Let's try again. There's always every single Souls game. Man, you guys are serious, aren't you? Every Souls game. Uh, well, I'm speaking of Souls. Every Souls game ever has the carefully go downwards. Carefully go downwards section. Man, these guys are assholes. These guys are fucking assholes. This reminds me a little bit of the tower in Bloodborne and the tower in Dark Souls 3 and shit. Uh, I can use the claws. I've been using, honestly, I've been using a ton of different weapons. <laughs> These are probably my best weapons, probably. The tree from Dark Souls 1. Oh, you guys are assholes. Okay. Pork puller. So this is the thing that falls. Can you go that way, I wonder? I don't know if you can go that way. So this thing is going to fall again, isn't it? So this thing falls every time and scares the shit out of you. Pork puller is barb after dark. So what I do with my pork is... Oh! Bro. Bull... Shit. Bull... Absolute bullshit. Absolute bullshit. You just saw the thumbnail for my second Elden Ring video on YouTube. Fuck you. Well, you didn't like the title. 
<laughs> you don't like the thumbnail? That was such a good thumbnail. Yeah, if only I'd equipped the ring, we would have been fine. You just looked at the video. <laughs> I thought it was good. Wee. That's pro. Oh, oh, wow. I didn't jump. Perhaps I should have. Really? Uh, bye. It is not worth it. You know, I'm going to leave you without your elevator, buddy. <laughs> uh, that is not worth it. Ah, so this is a shortcut. Mm, no, I don't know what this is. Okay, let's go this way. There's a ladder. Okay, maybe. Okay, maybe this is a shortcut. At least send the elevator back. Suddenly, Prince of Persia. Can't see shit. <laughs> <laughs> Can't see shit, Captain. God, fucking snake eater. Man, here's the real snake eater. Holy shit. God, what a, what a ladder. There we go. Okay, now we know where we are here. What a thrill. Sometimes you feed on a tree frog. It's our deal that draw God for the day we see you laugh. Ow! You hit me with everything. Glad we got the shortcut. <laughs> Glad we got the shortcut. Flawless victory. This game, uh, I don't know how many people have, I don't even know how many people in my chat are even really playing the game. It's hard to tell, but this game is like designed with the roll catch. Like I can't, obviously I, nobody knows. I don't know from software's mind process, like thought process of designers. This game is like designed to catch your rolls. It was like, it was like they read criticisms of Dark Souls 3 or something, and they read somebody who said, man, rolling is so good in Dark Souls 3. It's it's real, it's too powerful. You have too much stamina. So they designed literally every enemy in this game to catch your rolls with crazy timings. Like they all, all do that. Oh, that time he got fucked. Yeah, also healing. Like, if you ever heal in a boss fight, watch it, especially against Mar Mar Margit in the beginning. The moment you heal versus Margit, you know what he's about to do? He's about to whip out that fucking thrown dagger, and he is going to hit your ass with that. <laughs> he's about to get that dagger out, and he's about to hit you with that thrown dagger. Garen fucking teed. Wait a minute, we were here. Did I miss something? Hmm. So stuff that like, you know, rolling and healing and all these things that were maybe good or really good in Dark Souls 3, all of a sudden they make you, you gotta really question your moves and question what you're gonna do. So we went that way for the elevator last time. What's, can we go this way this time? What's over here? 
What does it say? Try jumping, by the way. Try item crafting. Time for turn back. No item ahead. Think carefully. Why is it always tears? <laughs> you know... Playing offline and playing single player is definitely like... It's good because you're not going to get anything spoiled. It's going to be totally blind, blah, 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 right? Playing online is also really fun. It's really, really fun. Visions of Grace. Playing online is very fun. Man, I don't... Left ahead. I mean, we were here already, right? Have a nice trip. Oh, there's nowhere to jump. I haven't seen anywhere to jump to. Let's take the elevator back up. Let's see where it takes me. Because this game is good as people are saying. I I am head over heels in love with this game. Uh, I, I can't... The last time I feel like I felt this way about a game might have been when Elder Scrolls Oblivion first came out. It feels like that. Or it's just like... There's nothing else like it. Why hasn't this existed? Like, it's insanely cool. Like, that's kind of how it feels to me. I, I love Elder Scrolls Oblivion. You play offline? I mean, that's there's nothing wrong with playing offline. That's how it feels to me. Those guys actually came all the way down here to get me. Okay, so we tried jumping down here. It seemed like that wasn't the answer. What about... Uh... No, this is the start because that's that. No, so we're back at the start. And then... Okay. No, I have no idea where we are. <laughs> I have no idea. It's got to be down, right? Because... Why else is the shortcut here? It's got to be down, right? Well done. Visions of grace. Yeah, I saw the grace. No items ahead. Oh, oh. Okay, I see something. Oh, maybe that maybe this is where we're going. Man, I really, really, I thought I was about to die. I really thought I was about to die. <laughs> I, I absolutely thought I was about to die there. Okay. Hey, nice. Okay, whatever, whatever is going to be down here. Who knows?